90,000 wildfires in Canada in the last seven days alone. In British Columbia alone is 80,000 of them. And it will affect the crops, it will affect the food. This is where the word famine comes in. This is where hunger and not having enough food and, and the scales will be tipped and uh, you won't have enough money to buy bread and you will not have enough money to buy wheat, but you will have if you're rich to buy wine and oil. It's a sign for Canadians. Do you know why? Because Canada supports this uh, peace deal between the Palestinians and the Israelis. The Trudeau government fighting with Saudi Arabia allowing for homosexuality, for transgenderism, the politics of Canada. It's being punished. It's called the controversy over Israel. Everyone who goes against Israel will be punished by God through these natural events that you see. The entire planet is being bombarded with wildfires. The entire planet is being bombarded with crop failure. There's not enough crops for the season because of the fire damage. Around the entire planet, uh, the wheat crop is gone. Spain, Portugal, Norway, Finland. These are just a few of the countries that have experienced massive uh, shortages. For example, they didn't have lettuce for a few weeks. Cauliflower, certain things that people are used to. And then, of course, the genetically modified versions are always there to replace any uh, shortage. These wildfires are a message to Canada and Canadians. The situation in Canada is not good. This Trudeau government is not good. The fight with Saudi Arabia is another sign. The only reason Saudi Arabia is, is, is dares to take Canada on is because it knows that Canada has nobody to support it. It doesn't have the support of the United States. Europe is too busy to be worried about Canada. And the rest of the world is under economic uh, punishment from, uh, from what's his name in Washington. Too many people are asleep. They're not aware of the wildfire situation. Fires, fire, fire. We're talking about uh, millions of, of uh, acres already gone. A watchman is someone who all he does is watch and reports to you. So he's responsible for you knowing things. But there's a lot of different watches and not all of them are watching properly and not all of them are watching biblically. What are you going to do next time you're in the supermarket shopping for food? Are you going to remember all these things that is mentioned that are happening and are you connecting all the dots together while you shop? You can easily find the farmer that you know through your friend that has uh, animals and then if, if, if those animals are eating good food, grass, not hay, but grass, they need to be eating green grass or something green and that will attribute to their health, their milk, their meat. And for Satan, it's not a good thing that he loses you. He'll attack anybody. He'll, he'll use, he'll do it again, huh? It's not the last time. He'll come back in a different way. Each time, the, each time that you think you're, you got him, he'll come back in another way. And each time that you flick him away, you get refined. However, as you continue to progress, Satan will return with a, a stronger attack and he'll use this uh, healing that you think you got and he'll reverse it on you. He will make, he'll send you a strong uh, illusion that you think that everything that you've done in the last year is now gone. He'll do this trick. It's a trick. Of course it's not gone. But he'll convince you that it's all been for nothing and all of it. It's about the relationship you have in conversation, conversation in prayer. So when you pray, try not to make it into some kind of ritual or ceremony or tradition. Instead, make it into a casual conversation and try to have this conversation all the time, not just a particular time, anytime. And before you do things and after you do them. So some people pray before they start eating and then you can pray again, a short prayer, after you ate. Every time you have a bad thought, what you do, you say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I, I command you, unclean spirits, to depart from me. I rebuke you, evil thought. Rebuke. It means I, I harshly criticize you. I disapprove of you in my mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can also say it in the original tongue, uh, B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. That also works. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. I command you, unclean spirits, to depart from me. Get rid of the thought while it's happening in real time. As soon as it happens, that's called denying yourself. Deny yourself, it's called. It's called denying yourself. If you train yourself 
to flick the thoughts as they come in, in real time, you'll be able to take full control. Your spirit will start to control your body instead of the other way around, which is now normal for everybody. Everybody is being controlled by their flesh. The secret is to get your, your spirit to take over the flesh and to defeat it. The way you do that is by controlling your thoughts so that they don't control you. And then when you control your thoughts, you're able to control your words. When you're able to control your words, you're able to control your deeds. It's a connection. It all connects back to your thoughts. And endure, 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 endure. It, it won't be easy to deny yourself. And when you do succumb, it's okay. You will just come back again after confessing and repenting. Confess and repent. Confess, then repent. And then ask uh, for righteousness. Ask to be uh, made holy. Ask for these things. Ask, keep asking. Asking. And when you pray, always pray for other people before you pray for yourself.